Hello folks, Pastor Matt Cordes here, one of the pastors at Hope Lutheran Church, bringing you your daily devotional. Ephesians 5.16 reminds us to make the most of every opportunity. Hopefully in the midst of these challenging times, you've also found some new opportunities. Hopefully you found a rhythm and where you can spend some quality time with God and God's Word and in prayer and just communing with the Creator of the universe. Or as Pastor Chuck says, doing your soul business. One of these key components to being a follower of Jesus is forgiveness. You see, we get the gift of being set free from sin. We get to bring our, our sin and our brokenness and our muck to the cross, and God extends to us this beautiful mercy, this amazing grace, and we get to walk away set free from sin. But we also need to live it. You see, we need to forgive one another, and that gets a little bit more challenging. Mark 11, 25, Jesus reminds us that whenever we are praying that we need to forgive. In fact, he says, if you have anything against anyone, to forgive them, so that your Father who is in heaven will forgive you your sins. You see, sin is so destructive that it seeks to drag everybody down with them, both the offender and the victim. The offender, because they're living out sin, they're hurting people, separating themselves from one another and from God, but also the victim, because now the victim has to carry that wound, that pain, and they want revenge, and they get bitter, and that holds us all down. And see, forgiveness isn't this thing, it isn't this have to, because God you know, wants us to follow the rules. It's because God wants to set us free. God doesn't want us to live out in bitterness. God wants to, us to live out in freedom and in love and in forgiveness. So my challenge to you is this. In your time with God, allow God's Spirit to, to work on you, to minister to you, to see if there's unforgiveness within you. And maybe, maybe you'll need to make a call and ask for forgiveness. Or maybe you'll need to make a call and say, I forgive you. But let God's Spirit work on you so that, well, He can set you free. Because when the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. God bless.